In this video, I'll show you how to use dynamic bi-directional updating in Conveyor version 4 to send objects from Rhino to Revit, edit those objects in Revit, and send geometry back into Rhino in a format that can continue to be edited and sent back into Revit at a later time. To demonstrate this, first I'll send these floor plates that we see in Rhino over to Revit. To do that, we'll select them, verify that their category and type are set appropriately, and then select Send to Revit using the Rhino and Revit Direct method. Now that the floors are imported, I'll make some edits to the top floor so that we can track the new geometry as it comes across. We can edit this boundary however we choose. The purpose of me editing it is not necessarily uh, design oriented, it's sort of indiscriminate, but this is going to allow us to see those changes as they're brought across. Now that we have this new geometry, We'll go back over into the conveyor panel in Rhino. Beneath the Rhino and Revit Direct method submenu, you'll notice that next to Get from Revit, this button, there's a down caret arrow that allows us to pick from a menu of options. The basic conversion method allows us to bring over this floor object as a 3D solid. You can see that here. It's got the same thickness and properties that the Revit floor has. The basic refresh all will do the same basic conversion, but it'll refresh any of the objects that have been edited. The dynamic update option is the new option that we'll be using. And you can see that when this object was edited, it actually replaced the original. And if I zoom in, you can see that the floor is the same single surface as the original floors. It also shares the same GUID that the floor initially shared. The consistent GUID enables you to further edit this object and send it back. Let's try this as well. And now that this has been edited once more, let's send it back to Revit. And there we have it. It replaced the original geometry. You could continue to make updates to the Revit model or to the Rhino model and send these edits back into opposite programs. As long as the GUID remains consistent for the objects, both within the context of Rhino, as well as for the element properties within Revit. 